Hello, everybody. I appreciate a few minutes of your time. I come to you here on a busy week. We've got Automation Fair, our first ever fully virtual Automation Fair event. So I hope everybody's enjoying that and staying safe. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you just for a few quick minutes about what's new in Thin Manager 12 release scheduled for just a few weeks time from now. Uh, my name is Nick Putman. I'm our global product manager and want to spend just again a quick few minutes walking you through what the latest release entails. So talking about what is Thin Manager 12, we really looked at three common or core platforms, standardizing our deployments, increasing the overall security level, and enhancing the administrative control. Uh, I want to talk mostly here about standardizing and simplifying our deployments. One of the things that we're going to release here is the web browser display client, something I'm extremely excited to present to you. The web browser display client itself takes advantage of Docker container technology, which allows us to take web-based content and deliver that to the thin client without the need to install remote desktop services, um, configure that, that deployment, you know, deploy the web browser application, publish that remote app, and install all the required licensing. We're going to be able to simply take that application and deliver it directly to the thin client using that, again, Docker container technology. I'm going to show you a quick demo of how all that will look. Switching over to my 12.0 environment, you'll see here that this is a, uh, a, a local uh, Docker host is what I've got this named. Now, this is going to be the first time that you've got the chance to see what a container host looks like. Traditionally in Thin Manager, we supported remote desktop servers, cameras, and VNC servers as the sources of content. We've now added support for container hosts. I have this local machine configured as a container host. I've then configured my container uh, display clients. You'll see here I now have another type of display client to configure. When I wanted to create a new display client, I'm simply giving that a name. I'm walking through that wizard and at this point again just like i'm used to with remote desktop servers i can now select a container host again something without remote desktop services involved totally managed by thin manager when i look at my terminal i now see that i'm able to configure that terminal to host that docker container host here i'm now going to deliver that and i see that i've got this content being delivered directly from thin manager now if i were to go to task manager at this point I'll notice that I don't have any other users logged in, just myself. Even though we know this is coming from the local host, I did not need a Windows credential, nor did I need to configure remote desktop services to host this web-based application in Thin Manager. Now to manage our security, there are some additions into the product, such as our TLS certificate, which can be installed elsewhere. So if you want your containers um, to be hosted on another machine, for example, not the local host, you'd simply export that TLS certificate and bring that in where needed. Um, some of the other features that we did address that I'll point out quickly here. Again, I now have the ability to prompt for a password or a PIN number at all of those different logging mechanisms, right? So we're really picking up some additional functionality there. Also on the terminal hotkeys, this is where I'll be able to come in and completely configure how do I want those hotkeys to function? Do I want to force content to a particular display? Do I want a certain action to happen on a basic on, on a specific um, uh, hotkey, for example? In order to configure that container display client, I have a few different options. When I add that display client in, after I give it a name, I'm going to select which container image do I want to use from Thin Manager. Now those container images, very similarly to firmware packages, will be installed through the install tab in Thin Manager. We will be releasing additional container images, those to support Chrome, PDFs, static images such as PNGs or JPEGs, as well as one for Citrix. All of those different container images will be able to be selected here. Because I have a web browser type container image selected, I'm able to walk through the wizard and see I will get to a place where once I select the available container host, I then enter the URL and any other start line command parameters that I need. Really to just kind of drive home kind of the power of what we're really presenting here, I've put four different applications or four different sources of content here on this terminal that I've got running. That terminal now is going to have a tile of four different applications, none of which are requiring us to have remote desktop services installed, right? So the applications that I'm delivering at this point, as you can see on the terminal behind me, I've got the shadow of the portrait mode two monitors up there, which runs in a different thin manager environment. I've done that using the thin manager VNC server capability. 
I've got my camera in the demo kit, I've got a panel view, and now I have that web-based application, right? That web-based application running in a container, no longer requiring us to have remote desktop services published. Again, I just wanted to spend a couple minutes here presenting some of the new features that Thin Manager has to offer. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you go out and try the product. Thank you very much, and I appreciate everybody's support.